What's going on guys? My name is Sam and in this video I'm showing you how to make carp pack bait, rig method leads and hair rigs, and how to use them to catch common carp. Alright, let's get right into it. So the first ingredient you want to get here is a can of sweet corn, but it's the big family size can. It's a one pound 13 ounce can. Second ingredient is some plain bread crumbs, 15 ounces, the cheap stuff, nothing special. Third ingredient and the last Strawberry jello powder, six ounces, the big box, family size. You can get off brand, it's cheaper, it works the same. Now that I've showed you how to make the pack bait, I'm going to show you one method how to rig up a method lead with a hair rig. We're going to need some leader line. I'm using 20 pound braid. This is about 12 inches long. I'm using some of this fake corn. A 24 gram method lead. A baiting needle. A very sharp, small number four wide gape hook. A swivel I can't remember the size of this one but just a decent size one doesn't have to be huge a bait stop for the fake corn an optional some quarter shrink tube this can go over the shank and eyelet of your hook to protect your knot all right let's get into it also optional is a bobber stop okay so here is my main line the other end of this is connected to my reel and rod First step, simple enough, put the line straight through the method lead. Just like that. Second step, tie that end of the line to a swivel. Any strong knot will do. And go ahead and clip your tag after you got it cinched. Then it should look something like that. And the weight can slide freely on the line all the way up to the bobber stop. So the next step on the end of the braid, we're gonna go ahead and tie a loop. We're basically just gonna go ahead and do a figure eight knot. You loop it over. So now we've taken the loop and looped it over. Now we're gonna loop it through itself. Just like that. Now you're gonna pull it tight, but you're gonna move the loop down So you have a smaller loop right there on the end. See how there's a loop right there? Then we're gonna go ahead and clip that tag end. Now with the other end of that braid line, we're just gonna go ahead and run it right through the eyelet of the hook. And that'll bring the loop up to the hook. From here, you're gonna decide how much of the hair rig you want to drop down off of your hook. I'm gonna have it about that far off of mine. Then you will pinch it at the bottom and take the other end and start wrapping it around just like this all the way down to the bottom as many wraps as you can get in there just about keep on wrapping until where the braids wrapped up around the shank all the way down to the bend of the shank so it should look something like that and then with the other end the tag end you're going to run that back up through the eye and it's going to act like a knotless knot so we take the tag end, put it right back up through the eye. 
pull it, and then pull it tight. And you should be left with something like that. Then here is where this shrink tube comes into play if you want to use shrink tube. I suggest it, it protects the knot and it makes it last longer. So first you want to size up your shrink tube to the size of your hook. You only really need it to go from the bottom of the bin to a little bit above the eyelet. You can cut off the excess and then just put it over the line and get it down to your hook. Once it gets down to your hook you just want to slide it over in place. So you should have something that looks like that. Then I would suggest to use steam to shrink that up. I wouldn't use a flame because that can potentially damage the braid and make a weak spot. So go ahead and boil some water up. You can even dip it in there for not too long or use the steam from a teapot. So after the hink shriek tubing shrunk up, this should look something like that. Now we're going to go ahead and bait the bottom hair rig with the fake corn. This is where the baiting needle comes in handy. You're going to pierce through the bottom of the corn all the way out through the top, straight through the middle. Just like that. Then with the hook of the needle, you're going to get that on the loop of the hair rig. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and slide the corn up the hair rig itself. Notice how the braid got pulled through with the needle. Now we get the bait stop. These bait stops come in different shapes and sizes. But they're just little pieces of plastic that basically keep the bait on the end of the braid. You want to get that bait stop right through that loop. Once it's on there, it'll look something like that. Then you want to go ahead and just pull the cord down to where these little flanges are. And it'll sit right on top of those. Just like that. And that's a hair rig. Now if you want to, you can put a second piece of corn on here as well. But for now, we're just going to leave one. The next step is to tie the other end of the braid to the swivel that's connected to the main line and it's done. After you tied your knot, cut your tag in and you're ready to go. After you have it all rigged up, it should look something like that, connected to your main line here. Alright, let's go hit the water. I'm going to show you how to pack this up and hopefully we can catch carp. Alright, so we're down here at the water. I'm going to show you how to pack it. It's pretty simple. You just get a little bit of pack bait, made about a chunk the size of a golf ball or so. And begin just to pack it right into the method lead, right into these ribbed cages. These method leads usually come with a little silicone mold that you can use to mold this pack bait onto it. You can use the mold or if you don't want to, you can just use your hands and wash your hands off in the water or use a bait rag after you're done. You can cast it out just like that or you can go ahead and stick the hair rig inside this little pack ball just a little bit. If you want to, you can even put a piece of real corn on that hook too. Same bait, same method, new spot. Let's get it out there. All right, now we're tight lining with the corn pack bait here at the new spot. Hopefully we'll get a carp. While I'm waiting on the carp rods to get hit, I'm gonna go ahead and cast around this jig with the worm on it for a bit. carp all up in this creek. I know what I'm going to do. Okay guys, so there's this feeder creek that goes back up in the woods and I was fishing up here looking for maybe some band fish or some bass, but I saw about three or four carp back here. So I'm going to go ahead and reel on this carp rod and try to get this repack baited back up on this creek. Right in there through this little hole. We got it packed up fresh. 
So let's get it in there. At least they were right in here. Hopefully they're st they still are. Big one just splashed up down the bank, about 10 foot. There's one that's swimming up. I just saw one swim up. There's a bunch of them right back there. It's a small creek, and there's like at least three or four back there. We might have one nibbling on our bait. We might have one on. There's four of them right there. Five, four or five of them. We're eating the mayflies. A carp just now swam by my bait. I'm seeing bubbles near my bait. A carp might be sucking it up now. So many carp up in this creek. I just need one. Lord, I pray that you allow one of these carp to get hooked up. In Yeshua's name I pray, so be it. I think we got a bite, guys. We got one on. We got one. We got one. Yes. <laughs> we got him. We got one. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, I'm all tangled in some thorns right now behind me. Bring him up. Bring him up. Yes. Come here, you. Oh, we got him. <laughs> That's it, guys. Hold still, fella. Hold still. We got him. He popped off the hook, but we got him. He just flopped off, guys, but... None... Oh, we got it. Awesome. Challenge complete. And that right there, guys, is how you catch a carp. He did flop the hook out when he was flopping on the ground there, but he was hooked right there in the bottom lip, you can see. So that right there, guys, is how you catch a common carp. This method will work for all style of different carp and even buffalo and catfish as well. But if you ever need to go out and catch some carp for bait, these make great catfish bait. You can also eat these fish too. One day I'm definitely going to eat one of these, which this would probably be a good size to eat, but I'm wanting to save this one for some carp bait. I've never used carp as bait before, and I'm wanting to give it a shot. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got one. We got another. Oh yeah. Don't get tangled up in that. Oh no. Don't tangle up in that. Come on now. We got another if we can get them untangled. Bring them back this way. Oh wow. It's tangled. We got him out, I think. Come up under there. We got another. <laughs> we got another. This one looks a little bit bigger, too. Oh, yeah. Definitely a little bit bigger. Awesome. We got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looky there, guys. Another carp right here. Another good carp. We got us another. I'm going to go ahead and save this guy too as a cut bait. And I think that will be the last one we save for cut bait. That will be plenty enough cut bait for carp for a while. Catching these carp out of a little hole in this tree line on this creek here. They're eating the corn pack bait right there. As you can see, the hair rig's hooked into the bottom lip. He sucked it up, swam off with it. 
and I hooked him down on the bottom lip. All right, let's go ahead and get this carp on the stringer. Well, it took a little bit to get that carp. I finally came back to this creek here and seen a bunch of common carp back up in here. They were hitting on the mayflies, but I decided to go ahead and toss out some corn pack bait as well to see if they'd hit on that, and they sure did. So from making the pack bait itself to rigging up method leads and hair rigs and catching carp, now you guys know how to do every step. If you guys enjoy these instructional fishing videos, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas of what you'd want me to try in the future, you can put that in the comment section as well. I appreciate it, guys. Please consider liking, sharing with friends and family, and subscribing if you haven't already. And I appreciate every one of you guys. But until next time, Sam out.